Dear Third Prep, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson. Today, inshallah, we have the second lesson in the algebra. The lesson is called Solving an Equation of the Second Degree in One Unknown. Okay, equation in the second degree means x to the power of 2. In one unknown, here the unknown will be x only. Okay, we are going to Explain how can we solve this to this equation graphically and algebraically. Let's start the lesson. First, we are going to learn how to solve the equation graphically. For example, find the graphically in R, the solution set of the equation x power of 2 minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 on the interval negative 2 and 4. We started in the first term, how can, to, how can we represent the second degree function graphically by using a given interval like this. First, I'm going to draw a table, okay, like this. This table formed from x and f of x or x and y. Up, I'm going to represent the values of this interval from negative 2 to 4. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. 2, 3, and 4, like this. Okay, now I have two different ways to find the values of y. I have a way by using the calculator, okay, shift table, shift mode table, okay, and the other table by substitute in place of x and x, these values. Okay, the first case, I have now x equal negative 2, so I'm going to write here negative 2 power of 2, minus 2 times negative 2 minus 3 equal what? It's equal 5. Now I'm going to make in place of x negative 1, negative 1 power of 2 minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3 equals 0. The third value, 0 power of 2 minus 2 times 0 minus 3 equal negative 3. The, the fourth value, 1 power of 2 minus 2 times, a, times 1 minus 3 equals negative 4. The fifth value, 2 power of 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 3 equal negative 3. Finally, okay, 3 power of 2 minus 2 times 3 uh, minus 3 equals 0. And now 4 power of 2 minus 2 times 4 minus 3 equal 5. Okay, now I'm going to represent these values in the graph like this negative 2 and 5 negative 2 and go up to 5 negative 1 and 0 here in the x-axis 0 and the negative 3 go down here 1 and the negative 4 here in this position 2 and the negative 3 2 and go down to negative 3 0 3 and 0 here in this position on, on x-axis finally 4 and 5, 4 and go up to 5. And now I have, okay, uh, uncollinear points. I'm going to connect them by my hand to make a table, to make a curve like this. This is quadratic formula as we said in the first term, okay. Now to find the solution set and this is what we need in this lesson. How can we find the solution set? of this equation. The solution set is the point of the intersection with x-axis. Again, the solution set is the points of the intersection with x-axis. Here, the curve intersect x-axis at negative 1 and intersect axis at 3. So I have now two solutions for x, negative 1 and 3. So the solution set equals set of 3 and the negative 1 or I can write it as negative 1 and 3. And this is the graphically representation for this equation. Okay, now let's learn the algebraically representation or sol solution of these two equations, of this equation, by using the general formula, okay, or general rule. Now, <clears throat> Here, if I have equation like this, ax power of 2 plus bx plus c, this equation called the second degree equation because I have the maximum power of x is x power of 2, okay? Uh, the coefficients 
or coefficient of x a coefficient of x power of 2 is a the coefficient of x is b and the free term is c okay now i have two ways to solve this one algebraically by factorize okay by using factorization as we learned in the second prep and the other way by using the formula but not all the problems can be factorized or not all the quadratic equations can be factorized so i have i need a general way to solve any second degree equation this is what i call general rule or general formula okay the general formula okay is a rule can solve any second degree equation this rule will be like this x equal negative b negative or positive square root b power of 2 minus 4 ac over 2 times a in which a b and c are the coefficients of x and x power of 2 and the free term of a and the free term of x again x equal negative b negative or positive square root b power of 2 minus 4 ac over 2a this rule called general formula or general rule okay let's solve an example to see how can we use this rule to solve the second degree equation okay find in r the solution set of the following equation x power of 2 minus 5 x minus 6 equals 0 okay the first step i have to prepare the second degree equation how come first i have to write here zero okay i have to see zero in the right side this is the first step the second step the equation must be arranged in descending order according to the powers of x here x power of 2 and here x power of 1 and here no x okay now i'm going to identify or take out the uh, coefficients a is coefficient of x power of 2 which is 1 b is coefficient of x which is negative 5 c is the free term of x which is negative 6 okay now i'm going to write the rule x equal negative b as i said before okay and now i'm going to substitute in place of a b and c by 1 negative 5 and the negative 6 as i said before so here I'm going to write negative negative 5 and here I'm going to write negative 5 all power of 2 and place of A I will write 1 in place of C I will write negative 6 in place of A I will write 1 like this okay negative negative 5 negative or positive negative 5 power of 2 and so on okay now I'm going to evaluate the numbers inside the root and 2 times 1 2 times 1 equals 2 and the numbers inside the root solve it uh, will be like this equal 49 now i have 5 positive or negative root 49 over 2 root 49 equals 7 so it will be 5 positive or negative 7 over 2 positive or negative 7 that means i have two solutions 5 plus 7 over 2 and 5 minus 7 over 2 like this 5 plus 7 over 2 equals 6 and 5 minus 7 over 2 which is equal negative one. So the two solutions of this equation is uh, are six and negative one. Okay, this is by using the formula or general general rule. Okay, now let's solve another example. Find the solution set of the equation eight x times x minus one equal negative two. Okay, he doesn't set here uh, graphically. So I have to use general formula. But first, I need to prepare the equation, okay, to be ready uh, to use the formula. First, I'm going to distribute 8x here, 8x times x and 8x times negative 1, like this. 8x times x equal 8x power of 2 and 8 x times negative 1 equal negative 8x equal negative 2. Now I'm going to send the negative 2 from the right side to the left side like this. Okay. 2 
make the right side is zero, okay? Now it will be 8x minus 8, 8x power of 2 minus 8x plus 2. A equal 8, B equal negative 8, C equal 2, again, A, B, and C. So I'm going to write them like this. And then I'm going to write the rule. And I'm going to substitute in place of A, B, and C, 8, negative 8, and 2, as I said before, it will be like this. Now I'm going to evaluate the numbers inside the root. The numbers inside the root equal 0, I think. So negative, negative 8 equal 8. Negative or positive square root 0 over 2 times 8 equal 16. Finally, I have 8 positive or negative root 0. Now I have a different situation. Root 0 equals 0. And 0 has no signs. So it will be 8 positive or negative 0 or 8 only, which is equal 8 over 16. Okay, because negative or positive 0 doesn't change. So I have only one solution. Okay, 8 over 16. And 8 over 16 in the simplest form equal 1 over 2. Like this. So I have here only one solution. Okay, equal 1 over 2. Why? Because, because the numbers inside the negative and the positive equal 0 and the negative or positive 0 are the same, which is equal 0. 8 minus 0 equals 0 or 8 plus 0 equals 0. So I have now only one solution for this equation. And this is the end of the lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. See you inshallah in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.